Hi, I'm Chuck Allgood, technology leader with Comores Refrigerants. Comores has detailed retrofit guidelines available at Option.com for conversion of both R22 and R404A systems. Let's take a quick look at some of the major differences. For R22 systems with mineral oil, you need to change the oil to PoE like you would with any other R22 conversion. 404A system should already be on PoE, so long as the oil is in good condition, no change needed. Second, elastomeric seals. R22 impacts the seals, you're going to need to replace them again like you would in any R22 conversion. No issue with 404 in the seals. The third key item is the expansion devices. For electronic valves, they simply need to be reset with the appropriate set point. For TXVs on R22 systems, the mass flow and suction pressures are very close matched. So other than a slight tweak to set the superheats, no changes are needed. For 404A systems, particularly medium temperature systems, significant change to the TXV adjustment will be required, turning it down to prevent floodback, perhaps even changing out the power header sensing bolt. All the major valve manufacturers have developed guidelines and recommendations for using their products with our new XP40 refrigerant. So you can refer to the guidelines from any of those manufacturers for further guidance. The last key item is managing the discharge temperature. XP40 has a discharge temperature that's lower than R22, but higher than 404A. So for R22 systems, no change is needed. We recommend leaving in place any high temperature mitigation apparatus that may have been installed, like liquid injection. It probably won't run much, but you should have it in place just in case. Again, all the compressor manufacturers have developed guidelines for dealing with the discharge temperature of XP40 during 404A conversions and any mitigation they run, depending on the compressor models, operating conditions, and the system particulars. And I recommend you go to the OEM for guidance on their solutions for their equipment. So, depending where you're starting from, new equipment, R22, 404A, or even something like HP80, you may have a different pathway to end up on XP40. But thousands of supermarkets have been converted and operating globally today, with more being converted all the time. And these systems, many operating around the world for several years at this point, continue to tell a good story when it comes to energy. Many types of systems and designs operating all over the world in all types of climates all helping to reduce the environmental impact by reducing energy usage. Not only lowers energy bills, but also reduces the carbon footprint associated from energy usage, all achieved by putting XP40 into the system. While these HFO refrigerants, like XP40, may seem new, Comores has been working with other leading innovators in the industry for years, ensuring a smooth transition. This transition will help you and your customers and the public ensure food safety and a cold chain run smoothly and in an environmentally sustainable way. Leading system manufacturers and component producers around the world have specified, qualified, and can provide guidance on using XP40 in their equipment. Much of this information is available online. Many of the online selection software programs now include XP40 or 449A as a refrigerant choice in their online programs. In short, the commercial refrigeration industry is ready for the move to XP40. And finally, Comores is ready. Having invested millions of dollars in world-class R&D, steel in the ground, a second-to-none supply chain, and technical experts, Comores is ready for the move to XP40 offering the optimum balance of performance, cost, safety, and sustainability. Thanks for your time watching this video. If you have any further questions, you can reach us through our website, Option.com, through one of our wholesale partners, or follow us on Twitter. Thanks again.